Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my community. Welcome back if you are returning. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This is going to be a uh, general reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So we're going to hop right into your reading. I'll get all your cards out and we will clarify each of those. Great Spirit of the Most High, we call upon you now asking for the Most Highest Divine Messages for Sagittarius. Know that we seek the truth even if the truth is up outside of their current paradigm in this moment. Uh, interesting. Uh, the Hangman and the Nine of Pentacles reverse wanted to come out here. I'm going to put those back in the deck here. <clears throat> so this energy of spiritual growth is coming up for you, which seems to be a common theme throughout the signs for the month of July. Self-sacrifice. Okay, we don't want you in that energy anymore. I feel like you guys have been sacrificing a lot for yourself, and it's time for you to invest and indulge in you and trust trust in, trust in the process. Um, and, and some of you have are being tested and have been tested and some of you have been suffering in some sort of way and in no, ignoring some of the things that you have been going through because you don't want to feel lonely or empty. Okay. All right. Let's, let's continue to get these messages out for you here. Messages for the highest good of Sagittarius and all of those that are involved. All right. We have the Queen of Wands. Your energy here. We have the justice reverse. We have the hangman. Oh wow. The hangman is out. You guys saw me saw me shuffling. The hangman just wants to hang out today. We have the page of cups. The nine of wands. And we have the star reverse. Alright. So we have one, two, three major arcanas out of six cards. So half of half of the, the spread is major things that are playing out in your life here. So some of you are have been in a position where you feel like you have sort of been in like some bad karma for some of you or have feel like you have been getting bad luck within your relationships when it comes to jobs, your finances. When it comes to friendships, whatever this is for you, it feels like there has been some sort of unfairness, some unjust that has come up for you where you're feeling like this is the hand that I was dealt, but I don't, I know it's not meant for me. And, and again, I feel like some of you, I'm also feeling like I want to cry. So some of you may need to release during this month of July as well, or there may be something that comes up that makes you cry, um, but definitely let it go. Don't hold it in here, Sagittarius. A lot of spiritual growth that is on the horizon for you, and and I feel like you're you're like I said being tested because some of you have been suffering. Some of you have been suffering through this bad karma as well. And let me say not to blame yourself, Sagittarius, because a lot of the things that we go through in our lives too, and this is not to blame it on on you know the past, but a lot of things we go through are passed down to us. They're ancestral traumas. And there are things that have happened in our childhood, things that we're trying to sift through in this moment. So don't get so hard on yourself. Don't be so down on yourself that you keep, you know, choosing the wrong people or this, all this bad luck is happening to you. You have to just really sit down and do your work so that you can get to a place of living from your core, like what resonates with you, okay? Because there's a lot of things that have been learned. We call those paradigms, okay? They're habits from other people that are taught to us. And we sort of have to break those old paradigms and create create our new one, okay? We also have that star here that is coming out in reverse and some of you have been, some of you have let this bad karma sort of take over your life where you are in a pessimistic place or you may be thinking negative to, negatively, speaking negatively or feeling these things. And the reason why feeling these things, okay, ha, are, turns into a, a, a pattern. It turns into a habit. And that habit turns into a pattern. So what you think about becomes an emotion. That emotion turns into a habit and that habit turns into a pattern. So that's what's happening for some of you here. And it's, it seems um, it seems like a theme, okay, which makes sense that the world is going through a transition, which means humankind is going through a transition now because you're like my eighth reading and it has been across the board. Everybody's going through some sort of spiritual upgrade, a level up for those of you that are, you know, focused on bettering yourself and really tuning into your consciousness 
we're going through a level a, a, a level up here and it feels very uncomfortable and balance is key moderation is key okay so make sure that you're not falling into pessimistic uh, pessimism um, negativity negative self-talk self-sabotage um, and also keep in mind that when we talk about um, some of the things that have happened to you this doesn't mean to that it's okay for you to continue to stay in a in a victim mentality or in a victim state living in a victim state this is your opportunity right now to level up in some sort of way okay your overall energy here is the queen of wands which is your energy as well <clears throat> excuse me your energy there's also pisces energy here so some of you could be dealing with the Pisces, have Pisces in your chart, which is why I feel like some of you have, may have some Pisces in your chart here, Sagittarius, because I'm feeling that level of emotion. And this is not to say just because you're a fire sign, you don't have emotion. But what's coming up is that 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 sensitivity, the level of sensitivity. When I say sensitivity, I mean like uh, feeling you're a feeler okay so this is for those of you who are a feeler who have a lot of water in your chart and you you're you know you're trying to balance fire and water what fire and water makes steam <laughs> okay so sometimes that boils up okay and sometimes water will put the fire out okay so it's just depending on how you how you're looking at looking at this so i do feel overall there is going to be a level of energy that comes through for you during this month or you're going to be tapping into your energy, your artistic side in some sort of way. And there is a level of optimism that 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 sort of engulfs you. And I feel like for some of you, you may have not been feeling this energy lately. So this is going to be a breath of fresh air for you to be able to take it to be in your energy again. OK, some of you have pets, specifically a cat, a black cat. Um, or you bringing flowers into your space as well. I do feel a sense of freedom coming up for you. So getting out in nature is going to allow you to explore that aspect of yourself. Be generous and kind to yourself. Find ways to clear your mind because there is a lot of things that are going on um, around you. And for those of you that are very sensitive or I should say empathic, you're picking up a lot of things around you. So make sure that you're keeping your mind clear, also keeping your environment clear. Be very cautious about who you allow into your space, your home in general. Okay, You don't want people bringing in their, ne their negativity, their pessimism, and then leaving that behind. And then all of a sudden you find yourself in a depressive state because the energy that is lingering in your space. We also have the five of pentacles and then we have the page of swords. So there may be some loss that comes up for you. Some of you could be losing a job. You could even be changing industries, taking a lower pay, but doing something that you want and doing something that brings you more freedom. OK, um, that's just what I'm feeling here, because there is a little bit of a hardship that could be coming up for you financially. Some of you could also like be relocating, moving out from with someone uh, moving out of a, a home that you had with someone um, but I feel a, le a level of freedom here as I look at the Queen of Wands and the Five of Pentacles that it, feel, it almost feels like you leaving behind something to have your freedom and independence again because maybe you have been bogged down by someone else's energies by their rules and that could be in a job you know you're just maybe you're thinking about having full autonomy and you want to work for yourself whatever this is I definitely feel like you may take a loss in some sort of way, but the loss is to have your freedom. And that, that seems like that's most important for you, okay? Because it feels like the money will come. The money will come for you here, Sagittarius, but you're, you're focused on freedom right now, okay? Your creativity and leveling up in some sort of way, which I love that energy for you. Let's fill into this page of swords. So some of you also need to be a little bit more assertive with what it is that you're, you're wanting. So if this is around, based around a job and asking for a promotion, ask, ask for what you're worth here, Sagittarius. That's what I'm feeling here. So being assertive. You don't have to be aggressive, right? Assertive and aggression, uh, aggression and assertion are completely different, right? Um, so being assertive and asking what it is that you're wanting, you're wanting because you have a lot of skills. Whoever I'm speaking to, you have a lot of skills, gifts, and talents, and it feels like you can do a multitude of things, but you may be finding yourself just sticking with one thing because maybe it pays well, or 
maybe you know this is like I'm supposed to do this or I've been in this industry for so long and I'm comfortable here I feel like there's going to be a little bit of a shakeup but that shakeup is because you want to shake things up you want to change things up to be able to just elevate yourself in some sort of way because some of you are tired of being in the same energy I'm feeling like I'm seeing like you're standing in this gray area but I feel like you're walking more towards the light you're more walking towards what feeds you what brings you freedom and excitement and peace so I love that energy. So whatever this loss is, I feel like the loss is due to the decision that you make about whatever it is that you're trying to walk into. Okay, so I don't feel like it's just out of the blue like, oh, okay, there can be situations where some of you may be losing a job. But I do feel like it's because you have decided, you've made the decision to walk away from something. We have the justice reverse coming out in your obstacle challenge position so this is what I was saying about the the bad karma and things being unfair and unjust and maybe even a little bit of corruption or like um, blind enthusiasms coming up but it definitely feels like an imbalance that is happening for some of you but the justice is the number 11 right and the 11 is connected to um, spiritual it's spiritual growth okay let's see why this is here why is the justice here Wow, the sun, another major arcana. There's a lot of changes that may be coming up for you during the month of July. Transitions, um, realizations, understandings of why some of the things have happened in your life. Um, it feels like, I feel like karma has to change. Oh, I just want to, I'm going to take, I'm going to take all of those because Look at that, clarifying the justice, okay? Clarifying this justice card, we have more major arcanas clarifying the sun, the ten of swords, and the will of fortune. So whatever this is, is the inevitable and it can't be changed and it may feel like an obstacle or a challenge for you to um, sort of turn the wheel. Like justice and will of fortune are all about karma. So it feels like you have to sort of transcend the ener energy that you have been in, Sagittarius, in order for things to be right. Some of you don't know where to start. You don't know, like, you don't know where to begin, who to talk to about this. Um, oh, some of you are seeing 1010. Okay. Check out the number 1010. Leave us a comment below. Let us know what that means to you. Okay. But this is definitely letting you know that you're definitely on the right track here. Sagittarius, but if it's going to feel uncomfortable because it is a transition. It is a life transition. You're transitioning. Um, for some of you, this is a lineage. Some of you are seeing 10, 10, 10, 1, 1, 1, 9. This, look at this here. That breaks down to a 10. 1 plus 9 is 10. So 10, 10, 10, 1, 1, 1, or you're seeing um, 11, 11. There's a lot of ones here. Look at that. The justice card is also... 11. So um, you may be seeing 11, 11 a lot. And some of you may be a little bit, I'm feeling like a little nervousness or anxiety coming up around the shift. There's nothing to be afraid of. This is the, ine this is the inevitable and everything is turning for the better. So this is saying that good fortune, good luck, cycles, good, it's on your side. Things are going to change. This, like I said, it's the inevitable and this is going to be um, part of your journey. The destiny is always changing, right? So this is going to be karma changing. So for those of you have, that have been in this energy of bad karma, feeling bad karma, fear and unjust, there's going to be a shift that is happening because some of you have experienced some loss, some endings, misfortunes, have been defeated, have been in a place of jealousy, have been, have hated life, have hated other people, <laughs> have been assaulted, have been backstabbed in some sort of way, and you have retaliated in some way, but there's a lot that is going on, but Spirit is saying, there is a bright, um, your horizon is brightening. Okay, so that is going to feel heavy for some of you. And I'm going to, I'm not even going to sugarcoat that because this is a major upgrade, spiritual upgrade that you're undergoing here, Sagittarius. And some of you are already in this energy, but you may be feeling more of the effects of it during the month of July and may have some questions or, you know, just may not fully understand what it is you're going through. If you need assistance, there are there is a, there there is assistance available too. I also offer energy clearings. 
tarot readings as well to sort of get you on track and, and, and help you, you know, guide you on this journey of, of uncovering some of the things that you need to let go of. So very interesting here that um, some of you are sort of faced with this challenge of changing the trajectory of your life by changing some of the things that you're doing, changing your behaviors, changing jobs, changing homes. Um, changing some friendships that's going to look different for everyone some of you may be experiencing all of it and some of you just fractions of what I've just mentioned the hangman is coming up in your um, where you're headed okay so some of you are again spiritual growth is coming up as well some of you may be seeing things I'm getting the chills right now some of you may be getting signs and symbols about things like I said some of you are, are empathic so you're feeling things and some of you are very empathic and intuitive as well Empathy just means that you you feel a lot of things from other people, um, and, and, and intuition you just know things like you you know things are just there's something that you know like so because the hangman is about prophecy, so some of you as you're upgrading you're opening up a portal that may have never been opened before and you may be tapping into different things that may even feel uncomfortable for you but it feels like. Let me just say that make sure that you know that you're getting into the right things. Okay, make sure you're not opening up portals that you can't close and then you're inviting things into your space that you don't know how to handle. Okay, so you may be tested. <laughs> and unfortunately, when we're going through spiritual upgrades, we're going to be tested. We're going to be tested by people because we're human. We're here on the, this 3D dimension. You're going to be tested by people. Try not to take things personally. Know that this is a part of the test. And when you can, when you find yourself uh, handling things differently than you have before, know that you have, you have passed, you've passed the test. Okay. <laughs> so you're developing new perspective during this time, because I, like I said, some of you have been in a place of, you know, suffering and sacrificing and avoiding something um, and maybe even submitting to people and things that really were only, um, sort of taking advantage of you. So I feel like there's a realization that is you're going to be seeing things from different different perspectives during during this month here. All right, so we have the Knight of Wands and we have the Hierophants. You guys are getting a lot of major arcana. So let me know there's a lot of change that is coming up for you and some of you are already in experiencing experiencing this change. All right, so let's see here. I'm hearing don't run away for those of you that need to hear it. Don't run away. Huh. So this lets me know again, you're going to be um, gain, gaining a new level of energy. And some of you may be even getting some energy work during this time, um, during this, this, this month. Because I feel like there's layers that you know have built up and you need some assistance in releasing those. And some of you may just be tapping into um, healing yourself, healing yourselves. And some of you are going into a different industry where you're wanting to heal people. You may be going into Eastern medicine, going into acupuncture, energy work, massage therapy. Like I feel like there's going to be some sort of shift around your career a shift around your perspective, but I feel like it's going to put you in a place where you are, you feel like you're being true to yourself. You're going to be inspired this month as well, Sagittarius, which I love because there's going to be so many things that you're seeing and uh, seeing about yourself and seeing how you have suffered and seeing how karma has played out for you that you want to make the you want to make the change. You may even find yourself talking about some of the things that you've been experiencing so that you could heal just by talking about it. But a level of creativity is coming up as well. Inspiration. Some of you are going to feel more driven to um, get things done or find a new job, jump into a new job, jump into a new industry, start a new business, whatever this is. And I feel like you're, some of you have feared being challenged and being tested. You're going to be embracing that during this time. So this lets me know that you are passing some sort of spiritual level up and you're moving to a new level for those of you that are actually doing your work. Some of you are not in the position where you don't want to conform to things anymore. You want to do things your way. You want to follow what your spirit is telling you. And some of you are going to 
seek out assistance. Like I said, energy work, maybe even going to see a spiritual advisor or a counselor, whatever this is. I definitely feel like you're going to be seeing things come together in a very beautiful way. Um, it, it feels it feels like it's going to be uh, synchronistic here. Um, but, but a lot of change, a lot of change that's coming up for you during the month of July and beyond. And keep in mind that time is fluid, so this could happen at any time, and some of you have already been experiencing this. What's happening in your near future is the Page of Cups energy here. This is about um, emotions, being focused, dreaming, dreaming a big dream. And some of you have not dreamt, dreamt in a while. I actually have a friend, um, my one of my very best friends and there was a time where I, I had mentioned to her that I um I had forgot to dream. I forgot to like sit and like daydream and just envision and she was like that is a good idea. We totally forget about that because we get so caught up in life. Let's hold each other accountable for dreaming. And I thought that that was like, yeah, let's do that. Let's hold each other accountable because I had so much time just sitting and dreaming. And the other day I just did it, um, and this was a while back we had the conversation, but the other day I did it, and you you don't realize how much peace that brings to you when you can take at least 10 minutes to just sit and dream about things. And so I feel like during this month, some of those of you, especially those of you that have like that watery energy that you embody, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here, you... Uh, and, and I'm also feeling Libra energy here because that balance, I feel like you're going to be stepping into um, a phase of dreaming, dreaming again, or for some of you, this may be the first time, but actually sitting and having visions about what life can be like outside of what you're currently doing. So we have the lovers and the moon in reverse, two more major arcanas. You guys, wow. Sagittarius, I know some of you, I can just feel the emotion of some of you going through it because some of you don't understand what you're going through. And I'm here to tell you that this is just a spiritual upgrade that you're experiencing. And when people think about consciousness, spirituality, okay, I don't ever really say, oh, I'm a spiritual person because we're all spiritual per people having a human experience. I say I'm conscious. That means I'm doing my work that you know, i.e. woke, right? Okay, because I'm actually investing the time to stay woke, to be conscious. So I feel like some of you are really diving into that during this month. And I, things are just changing. And I feel really good about this. So those of you that are looking for love, there could be a Libra, a Scorpio, even a, a Libra that could be coming. I said Libra already. Um, that could be coming into your life. Okay, the lover's card. So some, some, someone's near, okay, is what I'm feeling. Someone is near. And I don't know, the, the moon card is about, this one came in reverse. You're uncertain or confused about something and, of taking a risk. And I feel like it's because you, um, some of you have been holding on to the suffering, the suffering and the bad karma and the story. You've been creating that narrative of this is the hand that I was dealt. I'll never find love or um, whatever it is when it comes to love that there is going to be a shift happening in all areas of your life or whatever it is that you're fo focusing on that you're wanting to change, that there's going to be Gemini as well. There is going to be love and passion and romance that is coming into your life. Connection, something, something that you've been missing in your relationship or your relationships or even your partnerships in general, where you're going to have to make a decision to move on from the narrative of suffering, of bad karma, of I always choose the wrong person, you're going to have to let that go because there is love that is definitely coming in for you during the month of July and beyond this. And I like that energy. And some of you are going to feel a little bit of um, uncertainty around it, as I said, because of some of the things that you have you have experienced. I'm also hearing too from the moon to have self-control. Okay, so make sure that you're not, um, make sure that you've Make sure you're in a gray area, okay? <laughs> Make sure you're not too far off on each end of the spectrum where you're, you know, you're skeptical or you're overly giving and, you know, moving too fast into a relationship. So take your time with whatever this is, but there definitely can be someone coming into your life that is matching your sexy, so to speak. This person could be younger than you, um, and this person could also show up 
as a business partnership if that is what you're wanting as well because the page of cups shows up as someone who is a dreamer who is focused they're creative they're artistic they're poetic they're psychic, intuitive, very sensitive, like I said, and, and, and I feel like they come in with some sort of news. And some of you are embodying this energy and someone, someone is coming into your life to show you that side of you. Some of you that have not been really focused on developing your intuition and, you know, feeling what you're feeling and, you know, been blocked creatively or, or artistically. This person is coming in and saying, hey, you got it. You got it, girl. You got it. Okay, so that's what I'm feeling for that. Your advice for the month is the Nine of Wands. So this is about um, conflict, being overly protective or guarding yourself. Okay, and, and, and also feeling frustration and exhaustion that is coming up as well. So some of you could be waiting on something. Let's pull some cards around this. Why is the Nine of Wands here? which is definitely the number nine is about, it's about endings, completing something, uh, achieving something as well. So where there's an ending, there's a beginning. So it's the end of a cycle that's coming up for you. We have the judgment and we have the empress. Wow, you guys are getting so, like this is insane. <laughs> you must be exhausted, Sagittarius. You must be exhausted. And for those of you who are not, conscious about what you're going through this is confirmation that this is what you're experiencing so if you find yourself in this victim state know that things these are you've been tested so that you can move on to this next level okay so some of you maybe have been waiting for someone to give you a call whether that is about a job or or what or what a friendship or in, in a relationship you're waiting for someone to call you and I don't know if you're in the place of trying to forgive a person you need to talk about some things or you're trying to reestablish something there's some sort of transition that is happening with you and someone from conflict that has happened suffrage that has happened that's bad karma that is that has that keeps plaguing you in some way so I feel like you're waiting for something to, to happen and, and for some of you, whatever this is, okay, the Empress here is going to free you from all of the things that we have just discussed, all of the things that you have been feeling that feels heavy. I feel like, again, because it's the nine, you're moving away from that. And because 20, 20 and 3 breaks down to a 5, it's a new, it's a change, okay? It's a change that is happening. Five is about change, which we've already talked about. So some of you are seeing fives, you're seeing nines, you're definitely seeing tens, you're seeing elevens. So all across the board, whatever this is that you're waiting for, that you have been putting a lot of time and energy into, and you just have been sort of been like the warrior, the wounded warrior, just like keep taking the punches, you keep walking into the punches. I feel like you are really focusing on Letting something go, forgiving it, forgiving them, and moving on the Empress energy, the independence of growing, of focusing on what brings you pleasure, focusing on yourself. Some of you may have let yourself go. And so now it is time for you to focus on you, beautify yourself, get your hair done, your nails done, get a pedicure, you know, take care of your body, start a regimen, eat better. These are things that you're needing to do for yourself. Some of you may even be getting sick, and we talked about that last reading as well, that you may be getting sick. This is your body's way of telling you that you're trying to cleanse, that you're cleansing something out. You're cleansing out old this old karma, okay? So be conscious of that as well. This is going to be a time for you to nurture yourself. So whatever this is that has been worrying you, weighing on you, it is time to talk about it, let it go, and um, make a decision to take care of you and step into the Empress energy. We have the star reversed as your final outcome. So we talked about earlier that you guys have been in a place where uh, this Aquarius energy here, where you may have been feeling pessimistic. There's negativity that you're, you're around, you're surrounded by negativity. That could be in your workspace, your friendships, in your relationship or you're thinking negatively as well. So you've been sort of plagued by that energy. And, and, and the star is reminding you to dream and dream big, okay? Remember, holding yourself accountable to dream, maybe even sharing this with your other friends and um, 
and holding one another account uh, accountable. Maybe doing a 21 day challenge on dreaming every day for 10 minutes. It could even be five minutes, whatever time you have. Um, I definitely feel like there needs to be a shift or there is a shift. We have the 10 of cups reverse and then the five of swords, more tens, more fives. Okay. Like I've said already. So let's see your final outcome is, um, let's see. There's definitely been some conflict around family and that family could be chosen family or your blood family or the person, someone that is close to you. So there could be a, a breakup that could be coming up for you during this month or moving on into the into the future, the near future, whatever this is, because you are definitely at the end, the tail end of a cycle. And I feel like you have to make the decision to let go of whatever this is that is bringing discord and disunity into your life. So you might find yourself finding having arguments, um, feeling a level of dissatisfaction, feeling very upset, like you're just sort of like your peace and your harmony is just sort of destroyed and things are just sort of shattered in some sort of way. Um, I definitely <laughs> this is oh, yeah, yeah, this is a lot of. This is a, a lot of energy here, a lot of transitions that you're making during this time because you definitely are in conflict with someone um, or with even yourself. But there's betrayal, there's, level, there's levels of failure there, there's humiliation, frustration, loss, feeling like things are unfair, that unfairness is coming up again where you feel like you can never win in this. So you're going to have to make the decision. You're coming to an end of a cycle where you're going to say, like, I'm going to choose myself. And I love that energy because as you should be choosing yourself, that is most important here, Sagittarius. I love this energy for you, although I'm sure you're not loving going through this transition that you may be going through right now. But things are about to end. I'll just leave it at that. That is your reading. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like or comment if this resonates with you. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'll be so grateful for that. And enjoy the month of July as much as you can. Enjoy the transitions. It is taking you to newer and better heights. I'll see you guys soon. Many blessings and love and light to you guys. Peace.